Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series here on Parkitect. Welcome to my new park, Fantasy Kingdom. We're going for a very heavily themed park this time. It's going to be a Disney-esque park, um, taking inspiration from parks like Disneyland Paris, Fantasialand, perhaps partly Europa Park, anywhere with heavily themed areas. So we're still going to focus a little bit on realism, but not worry as much about that and build just an awesome big theme park with brilliant buildings and stuff. It's going to differ a lot from the Europa Empire series though because the buildings are going to be more fantasy based. Um, the lands are gonna, aren't going to be themed to certain countries or anything. They're just going to be uh, completely you know, fantasy themed. That's the idea for the park. Uh, but at the same time it's not a Disney park. Bear that in mind. We're going to we're going to do our own take on things. Just to show you what we've got so far then, I've built this little entrance plaza. The, obviously over the entrances there, we're going to have a big entrance building. Um, we've got the gates there, they're taken directly from Disneyland Paris. We've got everything outside the park ready, ready to go. There's a monorail system that takes guests to and from the parking and to the hotels. This is a, a sort of very long walkway into the entrance, which you probably would see in this sort of park. Uh, although I don't really know where it's meant to go at this end, it doesn't connect to the road or anything. But we're not going to worry too much about that. We've got the walkway here then, so you can either take the monorail or the walkway to the parking, which is a multi-storey car park in this one. Um, just because I think it looks better. Every floor does actually have different cars on and all the road markings in, even though now I realise that's probably a bit of a waste of pieces. Here's our backstage area then to start with the deliveries and very very simple at the moment, just a car park and some empty land. As I start building up the park there's probably going to be a main street type thing here with links into this backstage area. I've made the scale of this map a lot smaller than the last one I did. Obviously Six Flags and really big parks. Uh, this would be a big park in real life but I just didn't want such a big map because um, I felt I had way too much room. I want everything close together, everything joined in and no empty spaces really except for obviously the like river or lake or whatever we choose to put in. Um, on the edge of the park then I've left some space so when I because I like to play these parks in in-game mode rather than scenario editor I like to build the scenario and the outside of the park before I start so I've made lands that you can buy around the outside in case I need more space the lands that you can buy here will be for a hotel the road system probably isn't completely accurate but it's you know it, it looks pretty good so yeah that's pretty much the exterior of the park you can see there's the layout we've got going on it's fairly simple uh, with the foliage I kept it quite light just using the in-game ones now a few from the new DLC as well um, choosing colors that work quite nicely together so far keeping it fairly simple just for the for the um, for the foundations really of the park like you can see here there's a little river there's I know I said it's not going to be a complete Disney park but there's going to be a weenie in the middle it's not going to be a castle as such but it's going to be it's going to take inspiration from the castle whilst having different sort of elements to it and that's what we're going to start working on now so I will see you in the time lapse let's get into it Right, so I really don't want to use this word too many times, but we're basically building the weenie for the park. Um, there's no other way to describe it really, because it's not a castle, uh, it's not a palace, it's not a temple, it's just some sort of hybrid of all three of those things, I suppose. Um, I had a couple of ideas in my head, what I wanted it to look like. These are the pictures that I was going for. I'm sure this built, well, these buildings are somewhere in Europe. One of them's in Prague. Um, and I wanted to just do something with lots of towers, um, lots of spires, lots of detailing, loads to look at. Um, but still had that sort of realistic European feel to it. 
but while implementing that sort of fantasy theme as well. And yeah, I spent a long time on this. It took the best part of a day, uh, really, with all the detailing and stuff. Uh, normally, obviously, we start a series with the entrance building first. Uh, for this one, I wanted this to go in first because this is the middle of the park, the centerpiece of the park, the weenie, and everything's going to be built around it. So I had to get this right. Luckily, it sort of come together how I wanted it on my first go. Because I was, I was, this is actually one of the first times I've been nervous about playing this game because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. And I didn't want to disappoint myself, if you know what I mean. I didn't want to build something that I wasn't happy with, um, just for the sake of building it. And I always think that is quite overwhelming when you start a new park. And again, that's why I've sort of gone for the smaller map size in this one, because the Six Flags one did overwhelm me. I ended up building it massive and the layout and stuff wasn't particularly good. Um, so we're working with a smaller park here, but like I said before, we've got the edges uh, free to buy more land if we need to. So we're now actually in the sandbox mode rather than the scenario editor. So we can't build outside of the park unless it's in them, unless we buy the land in the sale bits, but we won't be needing to do that for a long time anyway. Um, so what I went for here really it was a sort of dome structure in the middle obviously the only shape I could find for the roof that worked was in the better shapes mod pack um, and I think I sized that to the biggest it goes something like that or 4.0 4. I think it goes up to 5 um, so yeah it's just a big circle a big spear uh, in the middle of the, the dome there and then just using the future and space border pieces to, you know, give it that sort of feel, you know what I mean? So that it's not just a plain spear. I don't really know what I'm talking about already today, to be honest. <laughs> I always make the mistake of doing these commentaries on Monday morning, and that's not a time that my brain really wants to work properly. Um, so putting in some windows, and it's a bit difficult to do windows with this shape of building, obviously. So I just used cylinder pieces and some really thin poles. A lot of these mods that have like resizable poles and borders and stuff, so you can make them really small. And yeah, it turned out all right in the end. Um, for the detailing on the front, I was using letters from the Better Letters pack um, and just sinking them in a bit and mixing them about. And I think that's a really cool way of doing the detailing. I think it's from the the Fantasy pack, the Fantasy Letters, um, which are really good just for using as text, but I realise you can actually do detailing with them as now as well now. Sorry, so. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Um, this middle bit alone took two hours to do, to be honest. And um, yeah, it's really, like I say, I have no idea about different types of architecture and, you know, what places have certain architecture and all that. Um, so I just build, I just copy an image and I build and I see what I come up with. And this whole thing is a bit mismatched, but that's kind of how I want it to look. Like this second tower I work on here comes out a bit steampunky. But that might be a sort of idea that we carry into different parts of the park. Um, the whole thing looks a bit sort of um, almost like Arabic or something. But again, that might be a sort of theme we take into the park. I haven't decided yet on what the themed areas are going to be. Um, there's one I've definitely got in my head that we're doing. Um... But other than that, I'm not really sure yet. So it's something that I'll be thinking about and then just sort of going in and seeing what works and what doesn't. And although, like I said earlier at the start of the video, this is a Disney-esque park, but it's going to take more inspiration from the smaller European parts like Phantasia Land 
where they've got these really tight themed areas but i mean the theming in that park now is on par with if not better than some disney parks um and i think it's that's that type of thing is something i'm really excited to be building in the game uh, this tower again took another good two hours to build because i'm doing lots of detailing on it um uh, Using the, I like them lamps. I think they're from the pirate pack. Actually, they look really cool when you change the color of the actual light. And the the light does actually go to the color that you put it when you go into night mode, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, using lots of shapes in this one. That the new shapes from the new DLC have been really really handy for this build in particular. Um, this is the main spire, actually, for the for the building. Um, hence why I put a clock on it. You're going to see this when you walk, obviously, down the main street. As soon as you enter the park, it's going to be the first thing you see. Uh, and th this tower is my favourite part of the building. But I wanted it to look good and detailed and stuff. So it's sort of a copy of, the, like I said, the building in Prague which is the second image I put up just a few minutes ago there um, and yeah I'm just using the, the spire element from that building and trying to recreate it here and yeah I'm pleased with how this one how this spire turned out I think it's probably my favorite part of the build um, other than that then we're just placing lots of different spires and towers and you know i'm still trying to give some sort of like fantasy castle you know cinderella's castle whatever it is vibes um to the building but still keeping it completely different and my own thing um, and like i said i wanted it to have a sort of temple palacey feel as well but i didn't want it to be this, that's why the, the video is just labelled the beginning, that's the name of the episode, because I didn't want to give this building any specific label. And, you know, I, just, I didn't want to call the, the episode weenie, because I don't want to overuse that word, although that's what this building would be. But, anyway, um, I'm going to leave you to enjoy the time lapse for this one without me rambling on too much and we'll talk near the end so enjoy <laughs>
so we're near the end of the build now and you can see how much time it took obviously this is sped up by 10 times for the time lapse uh, but yeah it was a lot of work to get this building complete but in my opinion it's probably one of the best excuse me one of the best things I've ever built in the game uh, and I think it come together really nice in the end. It's a tip some playing about where I had to change a few things, move things around, and try and get the towers and stuff um, exactly you know, how I wanted them to look. And then um, just learning what pieces can s sort of do what with this type of build. Because um, it's not really something that I've ever had a go at doing before. Uh, none of my parks have really had this sort of weenie uh, in them before. So, yeah, all in all, I'm uh, pretty happy with the build. Um, obviously, there's the water around the edge, sort of the moat, if you like. Um, that will have pathways leading in every direction to your different themed areas. Uh, once we progress with the park more um, as it, in terms of coasters for the park I've not really decided on any yet um, but I don't think it'll have that many coasters in the park um, but I am going to try and work a lot harder on the realism side of things when it comes to coaster building uh, making the layouts better because some of them I did in the Six Flags Park just yeah weren't very good to be honest um, but we're going to have roller coasters in this that go in and out of the theming then there's not, not going to be um, many if any coasters that are just plonked there like you would in Six Flags um, so sometimes even stuff like the transfer track will be inside a building anyway or you'll be able to see part of it, but not all of it, and stuff like that. I've, I've got ideas in my head. It's always the same with projects like this. You have an idea in your head, and you think, how am I going to replicate that in the game? And you don't even know exactly what it's going to look like, because it's just a vague image. It's like a con conceptual thought that you've had. Um, and that's the same for this building as well. Um, and it probably doesn't look exactly like I imagined it would look, but I'm certainly very happy with how it turned out. Um, and it's got the general idea of what I wanted to put across. But yeah, moving on from this episode then, the next one we will probably be doing the entrance building, which like I say is normally the first thing we work on. Um, but this had to be done first, really, like I said before. Uh, for the entrance building, I've really got no idea, to be honest. Obviously, the entrance gates are like the ones in Disneyland Paris. But I'm definitely not putting a hotel over the entrance. Because um, I don't feel like that would work for this park. Um, the entrance, obviously, is going to be quite grand. But I don't want it to be as grand as this building because I don't want it to take away from the sort of sight lines and stuff as you come into the park. You'll still be able to see this from the outside of the park as you're coming up to the gates, um, which I don't know if... They, if, if you can, I'm trying to think if you, you can't really see the Disney castle from outside the parks, can you? You don't really see it until you walk in and start walking down the main street. Um, Whereas with this, we do want to see it from outside the park. Um, that's just how it's going to be, I'm afraid. Um, there'll probably be a hotel as well near the front where you have a view into the park and you can see all this. But that's, again, that's for much later on in the series. Like I say, it's going to be... The big series this is going to be he everything's going to be super heavily themed but the episodes will probably take a little bit longer to come out than uh, some of my previous series is like Europa Empire that I smashed one out every day um, 
yeah, we could. It depends. It just depends how motivated I am, really, and how much time I can make for it. At the moment, I'm super motivated to play after building this, but um, you know, we'll see how long that lasts. Because I want everything to be this level of detail, ideally. Um, you know, I want to go really, really in depth with the with the detailing of every building. Um, because that's how I think it should be. But yeah, and that, the building's pretty much complete now, so we're just putting in the foliage and planting and a bit of rock work just to give it that nice feel. Um, I don't really know what I'm talking about today. It's just one of them crap commentaries where really there's probably no need for me to actually be speaking at all. But I like to give my thoughts on what's being built anyway. And yeah, so that's that really. Just doing the old trick here of putting the, the, the bushes in and then sticking some rocks in with them uh, to make it look like it's growing through the rocks. I tried to do some more realistic rock work here, trying to make keep the rocks quite small and doing like separate little ones in the water and stuff. Uh, you know, all this stuff does add to to the general look of your builds. I think it's worth taking the time to do it right. And yeah, that's that is pretty much it. The completed weenie for the park, the beginning of Fantasy Kingdom. Um, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you choose to carry on with the series. Um, I will. I can't promise anything, but I will say that hopefully within the next week or by next Monday, there will be another video up from the next episode in the series, and hopefully we can move forward and get on with it. Really, but yeah. That's pretty much it for today's episode, so I hope you all enjoy the cinematic shots at the end. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.